Today let's make a cooling soap for hot days. The soap will have a lot of amazing ingredients. However, you will see whether it will have a cooling effect at the end of the video. Are you curious like me? After the 3D design soap marathon today, I want something simple, soothing and 100% natural but it didn't start like that at all as you can see when i made the lie solution volcano happened so i hope the rest of the soap making will be fine and calm i want to make a soap with clear menthol crystal teeny tiny crystal also with essential oil of peppermint, eucalyptus and a little bit of tea tree. This soap is wonderful for hot summer days. Yes, I am doing it a little late but I didn't have time earlier and I love this soap so I want to make it for coloring. I will use spirulina. It's gorgeous green i add little bit of oil i never use this stuff they are very expensive this is my first time second color is wonderful indigo it's almost black but i hope for some blue another is green clay with distilled water this is peppermint from my garden. I let it dry and now I am wondering if I should put it in the soap or not. I want to pour the soap in individual layers divided into four parts and four colors. I can wait for our natural soap after a long time. I hope you will like it and also I wish you were here with me and smell it the wonderful refreshing scent of cucumber, aloe and mint with eucalyptus and menthol. It's amazing. Let's make a beautiful natural soap. This is my amazing aloe vera. She is huge. I cut her beautiful leaves for my soap. See her new beautiful plant. They are leaves from my beautiful aloe. I cut five leaves, put them in the water and you can see it's pretty yellow. You have to change it a couple of times until became absolutely clear. I want use my aloe and cucumber instead of part water. I will start with cucumber. I blend everything with my Nutribula. She gave me such a beautiful leaves. I am amazed. This very slippery. <laughs> I am always sorry when I cutting the leaf from my beautiful plants. I am always apologize to her <laughs> I think I have enough <laughs> I don't think that I need uh, any liquid <laughs> I don't want any bits in my soap i add everything right to the oils i love the smell this is left <laughs> almost perfect two leaves from aloe and half of cucumber
I am using 3% of menthol crystal, which is a lot, but I love it. I love the cooling effect on my skin, but this soap cannot be used by pregnant woman, old people or even child. It's not allowed for this type of sensitive people, so be careful. Last time I used 2% and I think I need more. <laughs> so this is 3% menthol crystal, which are dissolved right in my essential oil mix. If they didn't dissolve properly, you need a little bit heat up all mix. I let it sit this in my winter garden, <laughs> which is the hottest room in my house right now and everything dissolves rather quickly. In here I have, like always, kaolin and also already cucumber with aloe. This is spirulina, looks like this. And this is the dry indigo. I can wait. I need to put this through the sieve. I don't want the corn fluff inside my soap. Let's the party started. I pre-mix kaolin, aloe and cucumber in oils first. I still see some little pieces of cucumber whoops <laughs> and aloe but don't worry the lye preserve everything if they that small bigger chunks will be problem but this is okay you can find everything in description below the video it's still very hot yeah so this is perfect for equal part i made a mark <laughs> it's not have to be precise but I split everything off equally and then I mix more. Also, I add a little bit more water. Usually I am using 2 to 1 ratio, but because I want cucumber and aloe as much as possible, I add 2.1 to 1, a little bit more. I should planning autumn soap, but I don't have a mood for this yet. <laughs> Not at all. I love summer. I love autumn because of the beautiful colors. So, I have to think. Spirulina will be first. You, this is beautiful. How much? Uh -huh. How much spirulina? A mm, little bit more. This is beautiful khaki green. Khaki green. First color. It's heating up. <laughs> Oh well, I should eat up the process. This is behaving beautifully. I left a little bit off for the top. Just teeny tiny touch. You don't have to save too much. I think this is a lot. 
so next indigo indigo i love it i love it show me blue 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 what maybe too much yeah <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. I add too much, maybe, but I think this is fade out <laughs> after saponification. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed 3D Marathon but this is this is different i love both natural artisan soaps everything everything about soap making i love and this time i want something soothing and mm, i have chunks of indigo inside but I don't want grey, I want blue. How is... Maybe I... You don't see anything and... <laughs> I'm sorry. I am terrible. I am enjoying the process and didn't think about you. What can I do? This is so lovely. Hmm. Changing plans, but never mind. And rest on the top of the green. Oi, 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 oi. I wish you could smell it because this is so okay. This this is green clay with pastel water. And maybe I add a little bit peppermint. Can you see this is false trace because I am using a lot of butters and hard oils. And when you start mixing again, everything loosen up. So don't panic. Should I? Yes. Just teeny tiny touch for contrast. Also, I have a question for you. If you knew where to buy these sleeves, <laughs> pink one and flower one, but in Europe, I can find the store anywhere. I add a little bit spirulina. I am enjoying every second right now. I am in soaping heaven. <laughs> the smell, the colors, well behaving so it's like a magic. This is already set up. Hmm. Indigo has tendency speed up the trace as you can saw so bear in mind if you want use indigo i have a tendency to add a little bit titanium but no i use the same recipe when i made dandelion so and i love this soap and the recipe is the same 
so you can check it out this is absolutely beautiful any mint for the top i don't think it will be pretty because of the indigo was hmm, already set up beautiful i am so happy that this was amazing experience except the ice solution volcano never happened to me never i am soaping seven eight years maybe and never had this problem but it was happen when you have citric acid and very strong solution it was one to one ratio it was very strong and because of that happened you have to be careful careful add hydroxide gradually and carefully because it's not fun at all the indigo is already very hard i just made cooling soap and <laughs> outside is cooling too okay this is working <laughs> but i want another way right so i think depend on your recipe and another stuff that the mm. mental crystal didn't speed up the trace at all yeah and we have we have the same colors oh no 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 they look very similar the smell is absolutely perfect uplifting and just amazing amazing this is the spirulina portion i save too much <laughs> again too much i put my soap to the polystyrene box let it go through the gel because i want colors pop out i always gel it my soaps always they are more more shiny they are became harder swirling tool and we are done how which way which way figure eight I leave like this because it's absolutely amazing right now. I turn the light off. You are able to see the bright colors. That is very dark outside. It's a shame, but... <laughs> Can you see the blue from the indigo spirulina some little teeny tiny mint leaves i can't wait for cutting i already love it this soap see you tomorrow i love 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 these colors can you see how potent they are even though the spirulina has tendency fade out i have to keep the soap from direct sunlight i love the specks 
from mint leaves give us beautiful effect. What do you think? This is gorgeous blue. Gorgeous. <laughs> Interesting. We'll see tomorrow how everything set up after the soap will be exposed to the air. I just love it. It's like magic. With the second the soap hit the air, immediately start change the blue portion. It's real magic and this is the reason why i so much love soap making maybe okay if i hold the soap like this <laughs> a while you will able to see the change oh. Gorgeous. I hope you see something. <laughs> so many great things is inside this soap. Such a beautiful color. I can wait how these will look tomorrow and after they cure. Right now I am using this amazing tool. You can use potato peeler like this. I used this tool a year and it was great. This one is movable and ceramic one. It's great. I am sad about only the blue. It's very strong. I don't know how much use it was my first time, but each indigo is different, give us different result. Let's try ladder test. I know it's very soon. I am very curious if I will able to feel any cooling effect from mental crystal. It's pretty like a stone. <laughs> Two days old soap and the ladder is absolutely amazing. Amazing, creamy. Wow. Again, like a lotion. Actually, actually yes, cooling effect is there. Maybe the indigo little this color, the foam, it has bluish color. Yeah, I feel the cooling effect already. It's wonderful. Next time I add 5%. <laughs> I will be brave. Actually, after a while, I think 3% is enough. <laughs> Have a great summer. Bye. Thank you for everything, for your comments, support, means a lot to me. Stay healthy, stay happy and see you next time. Bye.